Oh, good morning, everybody. How's it going? Good, good. Everybody awake? Yeah. Raise your hand if you're awake. I'm lying. I'm not awake. <laughs> All right. So, um, as a lot of you guys know, my dad, he used to work as an astronomer in a planetarium. And so that meant we got to go to a lot of really cool places and see a lot of really cool things when I was a kid. And one of my favorite places to go to was what's known as a dark zone, okay? Basically, you go way out into the middle of the country where there's no light for about 150 or so miles. There's no ambient light around. And you meet up with a bunch of other astronomy nerds in a field with huge telescopes and you look at really, really cool things that you can't normally see. Who here likes to stargaze? Like to look out and see stars? Anybody like to do that? Okay, we got a few people in here like to do that. I didn't say yet. Oh, well, we'll go with it. Um, but uh, what's so cool about a dark zone, since there's no light around, you can actually see all the stars. And some of you guys, for a lot of, some of y'all might not know this, but the sky at night is not actually black, it's actually blue. Whenever you're not seeing all the ambient light around, you can see all the stars, and the stars light up the sky so that it's blue, and you can see everything around. We would go when there was no moons, when, it was, when there was no moon out, and this light and the sky was still blue with all the stars. This is a picture here. Uh, it's like one of my favorite pictures ever, ever. There's a telescope up in space orbiting Earth called Hubble, and... This telescope is one of the, what is about to be replaced, but for a long time it's been one of the most powerful telescopes that we've ever had. And it's cool because it allowed us to see really close images of different planets in our solar system and different things of different galaxies far away. Well, one, eventually, after looking at all these things for about 10 or so years, the astronomers got bored. They were looking at all these things like, oh, we've seen that before, oh, we've seen that before. What are we going to do with this big telescope? And they said, let's point it at somewhere black that we can't see anything in it and just see what shows up and so they pointed the telescope into that nothing they actually pointed it if you put a dime in your hand and stretch it out and you look at the size of the president's eye of the dime that's the area of space they were looking at and inside that small area of space this is what they found thousands upon thousands upon thousands of galaxies inside of an area of space the size of the president's eye past what we can see now imagine that area covered in president's eyes. That's roughly one more step out to how big our universe is. It's huge. You guys have all seen the Lily Giglio videos about how big stars are. If you took the sun, not our earth, the sun, and made it the size of a pixel in a computer screen, and you looked at the, neck, at the largest star that we can see, the star is called Canis Maximus. Basic, I love the star because it's named Canis Maximus. That's Latin for big dog. It's called the big dog star. I love that star. And if you took this earth and you made, I mean the sun, and you made the size of a pixel, and you took the big dog star, star and you put it next to it, it would be the size of a beach ball. These things are humongous. And it's so cool when you look at it. I love in Colossians. I know I've read this a lot of times here, and you know, I'm going to do it again. It says, it says um, this is talking about Jesus. It says, He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For by him all things were created in heaven, on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones, dominions, authorities, or rulers. All things were created through him and for him. Now, this is a really special Sunday. Actually, this is a very special time we're in right now. This little moment we're in right now is really cool. Because we're here to celebrate Jesus. Now, normally on Sunday, we come here and we celebrate Jesus' death. But today, we're coming here to celebrate Jesus' death at this particular moment. But we're also coming here to celebrate the resurrection. So it's a really cool moment. I, like, I'm freaking out. You can't tell because I'm tired, but it's pretty cool. But we're here to celebrate Jesus. That's who Jesus is. He, can, he created the entire universe. Now, just imagine... He walks out onto nothing, and he says, let there be light. And that pops into existence because he's scared not to obey this person. That's how powerful Jesus is. That's how amazing he is. And yet, he comes down to earth 
and he dies for you and me. And we have trouble getting the car started sometimes. That's how today's, like Mike Lesson was talking about earlier this morning, it's about love. Today's about love, about the love God has for us. And we come here today, and we're going to about to break the bread and pass the drink around uh, and remember that love. Remember how much Jesus came down and how much he loved us. And it's even cooler because today we're also going to remember how powerful he is, how amazing he is, and about what there is to come with it. Because it doesn't just end with Jesus dying. It continues. He rose from the grave. I want, I want to end off with a passage in Revelations, I think. In the very, very end of the Bible. It's the last verse in the Bible. It's so cool. I love it. He says, um, He who testifies these things says, Surely I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. By the grace of, the Lord, of, Lord, of, our, of our Lord Jesus be with you. Amen. So not only did the most powerful person in the world who can create that come down and die for us, he's going to come back for us. So let's take a minute and, re and remember that. Let's pray. Dear God, I want to thank you so much for the unending love you have for us and how amazing it is. I pray that we not just take time to keep you in the forefront of our mind right now or all day today, but through the rest of our week because you deserve to be there all the time in the forefront of our mind. You gave up so much for us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.